An important part of returning steelhead trout and Chinook salmon to California's Central Valley is the availability of fish spawning habitat. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has partnered with the Bureau of Reclamation, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the Water Forum to improve spawning and rearing habitat in the American River. As development and mining change the topography of many California waterways, the side channel habitats and spawning gravel the eggs and juvenile fish require for survival diminished. The Nimbus Dam right here and then Folsom Dam further upstream and so they really stop all of the gravel from moving down the river. Um, so between that and the mining that's happened, there's no spawning gravel or very little spawning gravel that's left because it continually moves downstream and out of the American River and we don't have any replenishment. And so what we're doing here is trying to add back some of that gravel that was taken out during mining. So a lot of it's piled on the banks and we sort it and put it back in and create spawning habitat. Along with the cobble improvement, a side channel is being constructed along the banks of the American River. The side channel will provide a place for growing fish to escape large predators away from the main channel of the river. The side channel does a couple of things. Uh, steelhead traditionally, or before the dams, would have gone further up in the watershed and usually they spawn in the tributaries, so they like smaller rivers. They're not really main stem spawners. So the side channel creates some habitat for steelhead. They like smaller rock size, smaller river channels. But then um, it does give a place for the juveniles to get out of the main channel. There's not as much predation because the water is not as deep for predators. This project is part of an ongoing effort to restore steelhead and salmon habitat in California and is only a small piece of a much larger restoration project. We've been consistently doing projects since 2008 in the American River. So there was some work done before then, but starting in 2008, we've done a project every year. And we've been really successful at being consistent with our projects because we have a really good network of partners. So the Sacramento Area Water Forum, the city, the county parks, Reclamation, the Fish and Wildlife Service, and our consultants, we all do a really good job of working together and planning our our projects on an annual basis. Gravel improvements take place in the summer before fish return to spawn, and the construction is typically finished in October. With many Chinook salmon returning in November, biologists have documented the new gravel being used by fish only a few weeks after placement. We have seen with each of our sites that you can tell we'll do a site in, in September usually, and then that November we have a ton of reds in that area. So we know that they're being used successfully. And then we monitor the juveniles, so we know that survival is, is pretty good in those restoration sites. The salmon that will hatch in this new cobble and side channel will spend a few months in the American River before heading out to sea. Once in the open ocean, the salmon will travel hundreds of miles as they grow and will return in a few years to spawn in the American River.